June Collier was an American actress, born in 1906, who left an enduring mark in the film industry. She began her career in the late 1920s and quickly became a household name. Collier's work spanned over three decades, during which she graced both the big and small screens. Throughout her career, the actress showcased her versatility in various roles, from drama to comedy. In the early years, she appeared in several silent films, demonstrating her ability to convey emotions through facial expressions and body language. With the advent of talkies, Collier transitioned seamlessly and continued to captivate audiences with her voice and acting prowess. One of her most memorable roles was in the film Alice in Wonderland, where she played the title character. Her portrayal of Alice resonated with audiences and solidified her status as a leading lady. In addition to her film work, Collier also made appearances on popular TV shows of the time, further cementing her place in the annals of entertainment history. Despite the passage of time, this classic actress's work continues to be cherished by older adults and new generations alike. Her impact transcended the boundaries of her time, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain. June Collier was an American actress, born in 1906, who left her mark on the film industry during the 1930s. She starred in a number of films, including The Mighty Barnum and Broadway Through a Keyhole. Did you know that June Collier was actually the first actress to play Lois Lane on screen? In the 1939 serial The Adventures of Superman, this makes her a trailblazer in the world of superhero adaptations. Is there a particular performance of June Collier's that has stuck with you over the years? Maybe it's the fast-paced energy of Broadway through a keyhole, or the excitement of the adventures of Superman. Whatever it is, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Perhaps you have a cherished memory of watching one of the actress's films with a loved one, or a personal experience that was shaped by her work. We'd love to hear those stories too. There are many fascinating stories and anecdotes about June Collier that are sure to entertain and enlighten. From her early days on stage to her groundbreaking role as Lois Lane, this classic star's career is full of surprises. So keep watching to learn more about the life and work of this remarkable actress. Born in New York City on August 19, 1906, June Collier grew up in a household deeply connected to the entertainment industry. Her father, Charles E. Stevens, was a vaudeville performer, while her mother, Sue McManamy, was a singer. This immersion in show business from an early age sparked her interest in acting. The actress attended the Professional Children's School in New York, where she received formal training in drama. During her teenage years, she began performing on stage, further honing her skills and gaining experience in the theater scene. A significant influence on June Collier's career was her brother, Bud Collier. Also an actor, he encouraged and supported her pursuit of acting. He would later find fame as the first voice actor to portray Superman in radio shows during the late 1930s and early 1940s. Collier's big break came when she signed a contract with Warner Brothers, leading to roles in several films throughout the 1930s. Among these were Three on a Match, Mystery of the Wax Museum, and Times Square Lady. These opportunities allowed her to work alongside other prominent actors and learn from experienced directors, solidifying her passion and dedication to the craft. June Collier began her film career in the 1920s, eventually appearing in over 50 films. She starred in several notable pictures, including The Bowery and The Count of Monte Cristo. However, her most memorable role may be in the 1936 film The Bride Walks Out, where she played a young woman forced to work to support her husband after he loses his job. For those new to Collier's work, The Bride Walks Out is an excellent place to start. This classic romantic comedy showcases her comedic timing and acting range. Additionally, The Bowery and The Count of Monte Cristo are must-watch movies for any fan of classic films. In the 1930s, Collier transitioned to television, appearing in several popular shows of the time. She starred in The Lone Ranger and The Cisco Kid, among others. Her performance in The Lone Ranger is particularly noteworthy as she played a love interest of the title character. Overall, June Collier's filmography is a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, making her a beloved figure in the world of classic films and television. June Collier's passion for acting can be traced back to her early years. As a child, she would often put on shows for her family, showcasing her natural talent and love for storytelling. This passion only grew stronger as she got older. During her teenage years, Collier landed her first professional acting gig in a local theater production. She was so captivating on stage that the audience was left in awe. 
It was at this moment that Collier realized she wanted to pursue a career in acting. Collier's dedication to her craft was unwavering. She spent countless hours honing her skills, studying under some of the most renowned acting coaches of her time. Her hard work paid off when she was offered a role in a major film. In this classic, Collier's performance was nothing short of remarkable. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her character left a lasting impact on both the audience and the film industry. It was clear that Collier had a natural talent for acting, one that would endure for years to come. Throughout her career, Collier continued to push the boundaries of her craft, taking on challenging roles that allowed her to showcase her versatility and range. Her impact on the film industry is still felt today, a testament to her enduring legacy as a truly captivating actress. June Collier, an actress known for her work in film and television, held a significant position as the corresponding secretary for the Catholic Motion Picture Guild of America. She shared this role with Ina Mae Merrill and Leo Macari. Collier had a close connection to the film industry, being the sister of Richard V. Hermance, who also worked in the same field. The actress had a family of her own, with two children, Stuart Irwin Jr. and Judy. Beyond her role in the Catholic Motion Picture Guild and her familial ties to the industry, Collier made a name for herself as a talented actress. Her work in film and television continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. June Collier, a talented actress, faced numerous obstacles early in her career. Born in New York City on January 19, 1906, she entered the film industry during its silent era. At that time, the shift towards talkies was underway, posing significant challenges for many actors. Adapting to speaking roles required special training, which often came at a high cost. Despite these difficulties, Collier remained determined to succeed. Financial struggles were commonplace for aspiring artists like Collier. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs outside of acting. She modeled for magazines and even worked as a stunt driver, demonstrating her resourcefulness and commitment to her craft. Her ability to adapt and find alternative sources of income allowed her to continue pursuing her dream despite limited resources. Industry skepticism also loomed large over Collier's career. As a woman in Hollywood, she confronted gender bias regularly, yet, rather than succumbing to discouragement, she used it as motivation to prove herself. Through perseverance and hard work, she gradually earned respect and recognition from both audiences and critics alike. One notable example of her resilience occurred when she landed the lead role in The Voice from the Sky, one of MGM's first talking pictures. This opportunity enabled her to display her vocal skills and solidified her place in the new era of cinema. By embracing change and constantly honing her abilities, Collier overcame initial doubts about her suitability for sound films. Thus, June Collier serves as an inspiration for those facing adversity. Her story illustrates how determination, creativity, and adaptability can help individuals surmount seemingly insurmountable barriers. Even amidst financial strains and industry prejudices, she managed to carve out a successful niche for herself, leaving behind a legacy cherished by generations of moviegoers. June Collier, an actress known for her work in film and television, shares her mother's maiden name. It's said that she adopted her screen surname from her grandfather, Dan Collier, who had a remarkable 54-year career as a stage actor. Collier's career and personal life were closely intertwined with her husband, actor Stuart Irwin. Sadly, she passed away less than three months after him, leaving behind a legacy in the world of classic Hollywood. The actress's choice of screen name was a tribute to her family's rich theatrical history, and her career was a testament to the enduring influence of her grandfather's work. Despite the passage of time, the actress's performances continue to captivate audiences and inspire new generations of performers. June Collier's breakthrough moment came in 1935 when she starred in A Night at the Opera, a classic comedy directed by Sam Wood. This role propelled her into the spotlight, highlighting her comedic timing and acting skills. According to Leonard Maltin, a renowned film critic, Collier's performance added depth and humor to the movie, making it an instant hit. Her portrayal of Rosa Castaldi in this film earned her significant recognition and critical acclaim. As stated by Variety magazine, the actress displayed remarkable versatility and charm, contributing immensely to the success of the picture. Her co-star, Groucho Marx, praised her ability to hold her own against seasoned comedians like himself, stating, she could give as good as she got, a rare quality among leading ladies during those times. Following the release of A Night at the Opera, Collier became known for her impeccable comic delivery 
and strong screen presence. She continued to secure prominent roles in various films throughout the late 1930s and early 1940s, solidifying her status as a skilled comedic performer. June Collier, an American actress, received several awards and honors throughout her career. In the 1950s, she was recognized for her work in television. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, located at 6301 Hollywood Boulevard, for her contributions to the television industry. Collier's work in film was also celebrated. She starred in the 1930 film The Guardsman, which was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. While she herself did not receive a nomination, the film's recognition serves as a testament to her acting career. Throughout her lifetime, Collier was honored for her work in both film and television. She was a trailblazer in the industry, paving the way for future actresses. Despite the passing of time, her contributions continue to be appreciated and celebrated. It's worth noting that while Collier received many accolades during her career, she remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to act in various films and television shows, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain. June Collier, an actress known for her work in classic films, had a unique approach to her craft. She believed in fully immersing herself in a role, drawing from her own experiences to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. Collier once mentioned, I try to find a piece of myself that resonates with a character, something that I can relate to. That's where the magic happens. Her worldview was significantly influenced by the era she lived in, the Great Depression. This period of hardship and struggle was often reflected in her performances, giving them a sense of raw emotion and resilience. She once stated, the films of my time were a testament to the human spirit, a bustling landscape of hope amidst adversity. I wanted to be a part of that. Collier's artistic vision was not just about acting. She was also involved in the production side of films, often contributing to script development and character direction. This holistic approach allowed her to have a profound impact on the final product, ensuring that her unique perspective was woven into every aspect of the film. In her personal life, Collier was known for her kindness and humility. These qualities often shone through in her performances, making her characters relatable and endearing to audiences. She once said, I believe that acting is about connecting with people, sharing stories that touch their hearts. If I can do that, then I've done my job. In the end, June Collier's unique approach to acting, her ability to draw from her own experiences, and her holistic involvement in film production made her a standout figure in the world of classic cinema. Her legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring new generations of actors and filmmakers. June Collier, sister to Bud Collier, left behind a notable legacy in the world of film and television. After her passing, she was laid to rest in a crypt at the Chapel of the Pines in Los Angeles, a tribute from her loving husband, Stuart Irwin. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, had a successful career that spanned several decades. Her impact on the industry is still felt today, a testament to her enduring talent and dedication. June Collier, an actress who graced both the silent film era and talkies, left an indelible mark on the industry. Her contributions to this classic art form were significant, particularly during the 1930s. Collier's ability to transition seamlessly between mediums showcased her versatility and adaptability. In the film Blessed Event, Collier played a pivotal role that required her to portray various emotional nuances. Her performance was praised for its depth and authenticity, which resonated with audiences of that time. Industry expert Frederick Langley noted, Collier brought a fresh perspective to her roles, making them relatable and engaging. Beyond her acting prowess, Collier also influenced storytelling techniques. She starred in several science fiction films, a genre not commonly explored during her time. This choice was bold and innovative, helping to broaden the scope of narratives within the industry. Collier's influence extended beyond her contemporaries, Modern-day actress Emily Harrison cites Collier as an inspiration, stating, Her ability to embody different characters with such grace and authenticity is truly inspiring. In conclusion, June Collier's impact on the film industry is still felt today. Her innovative choices and authentic performances have influenced both the techniques used in storytelling and the next generation of actresses. June Collier's career as an actress was marked by both success and personal tragedy. In 1930, she married actor Stuart Irwin, and the couple had one son together. However, their marriage was cut short when Collier passed away at the young age of 56, following a battle with leukemia. Despite her untimely death,
Collier left behind a lasting legacy in the world of film and television. She appeared in numerous classic films throughout the 1930s and 1940s, including The Strange Love of Molly Louvain and The Count of Monte Cristo. Her performances were praised for their depth and emotional resonance, and she quickly became a household name. In addition to her work in film, Collier also made a name for herself on the small screen. She starred in several popular television shows throughout the 1950s, including The Lone Ranger and Perry Mason. Her ability to adapt to new mediums and genres was a testament to her versatility as an actress. Despite her success, Collier remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her professionalism and her commitment to delivering the best possible performance in every role she took on. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers to this day. The story of June Collier is one of both triumph and tragedy. While her life was cut tragically short, her contributions to the world of film and television will never be forgotten. She will always be remembered as a talented and dedicated actress who left an indelible mark on the industry. June Collier was known for her acting skills, but she also had a rich personal life filled with passions and values that informed her work. She was born on August 19, 1906, and grew up in a family that valued education and hard work. Her parents were both teachers who instilled in her a love for learning and a strong work ethic. These early experiences shaped her dedication to her craft and her commitment to giving back to her community. The actress was married to actor Stuart Irwin from 1931 until his death in 1975, and together they had one son named James. Family was incredibly important to Collier, and she often spoke about the joy and fulfillment it brought to her life. And fulfillment it brought to her life. In interviews, she frequently mentioned how being a mother influenced her approach to acting and helped her connect more deeply with her roles. Collier was also deeply committed to various charitable causes throughout her lifetime. One organization close to her heart was the Motion Picture Relief Fund, which provides financial assistance to members of the entertainment industry facing difficult times due to illness, injury, or old age. As a dedicated supporter of the MPRF, Collier actively participated in fundraising events and donated generously to help those in need. Another cause near to Collier's heart was animal welfare. She loved animals dearly and advocated tirelessly for their protection and humane treatment. Throughout her career, she used her platform to raise awareness about animal rights issues and worked closely with organizations like the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. These personal values and interests, family, compassion, and social responsibility permeated every aspect of Collier's life, including her professional pursuits. For instance, in the film Three Cornered Moon, she portrayed a character struggling to balance her dreams of becoming an artist while caring for her eccentric family during the Great Depression. Through this role, Collier demonstrated her ability to bring depth and authenticity to complex characters dealing with real-life challenges. Her television series are Miss Brooks, which ran from 1948 to 1956, further highlighted her dedication to education and helping others. Playing the lead role of Connie Brooks, a high school English teacher, Collier conveyed warmth, humor, and intelligence, inspiring generations of viewers to pursue teaching careers and value lifelong learning. Overall, June Collier led a remarkable life defined by passion, integrity, and selflessness. Her deep commitment to family, charity, and social causes enriched her artistry and left an indelible mark on Hollywood's golden age. June Collier was an actress who left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born in 1906, she began her career in the silent film era and transitioned seamlessly into talkies. Collier's work spanned various genres, from drama to comedy, showcasing her versatility. In the late 1930s, she starred in Times Square Playboy, a classic film that resonated with audiences. Her performance was praised for its depth and authenticity, etching her name in the annals of film history. Collier also made significant contributions to television. She starred in several popular shows of the time, further solidifying her status as a beloved actress. Her work transcended generations, remaining relevant and cherished by older adults today. Despite the passage of time, the actress's impact remains palpable. Her performances in these classic shows and films continue to captivate audiences, a testament to her enduring talent and legacy. It's no wonder that June Collier's work is still celebrated and admired by many. As we reflect on the actress's career, we are reminded of the power of storytelling and the impact it can have on our lives. 
So let's take a moment to appreciate the work of this classic actress and the legacy she left.